My name is Nick Dyfer, I'm the Head of Service for Sports Science and Sports Medicine for Paralympic Sport. And how long have you worked with the organisation? Uh, I've worked with the EIS since uh, 2004 after the Athens Games um, and I first came into the EIS as a, as a sports science intern. Well my background originally was in, was in physiology so my background is as a physiologist but <clears throat> my role as far as a Head of Service is concerned is to, to work with all the other Heads of Service who lead their own disciplines um, and really to, to work alongside to determine how best we can integrate Paralympic service provision with, with Olympic or non-Olympic service provision. Um, because we, we do like the integrated model, um, but we do appreciate that there are some risks and challenges with an integrated model that we need to need to address. We've, pro we've got over 100 practitioners who will be working across uh, Paralympic sports. Um, and I think the interesting point to note is that some practitioners will work 100% with Paralympic sports or Paralympic athletes because they're assigned to the sport. Um, whereas some practitioners will work across both Olympic and Paralympic sports, uh, either completely different sports or within the same uh, sport. So if you take athletics, for example, it, it would be common to see a practitioner working with both Olympic and Paralympic athletes from within athletics. Um, but you might also see a, a practitioner who works for, for example, um, uh, swimming, uh, Olympic swimming, and then a Paralympic sport like um, disability cycling, for instance. In the build-up to London, over that four-year um, cycle, EIS supported 177 athletes who actually competed at the Games, uh, and of that number, 70% medaled. Um, also, of the gold medalists, 91% of the gold medalists at London were, were supported by, by the EIS. Um, so I think that gives credit to the work that, that we do because it shows we have genuine performance impact with, with athletes and with sports. Well, I think the first thing to say is our approach with, with athletes with, with the disability or Paralympic athletes is no different to, to what it would be for, for an Olympic or a professional athlete because first and foremost this is performance sport, um, so our philosophy is always the same, we approach it in the same way. Um, but clearly there are some very obvious and, and even some less obvious differences between an athlete with a disability versus one who, who doesn't have. So what works for a non-disabled athlete will not necessarily work for uh, a Paralympic athlete. But even within the Paralympic field, we have many different variations of disabilities that, that you might come across. Uh, each one is, is unique and each athlete is unique. So the approach that you take for an athlete who has an amputation will clearly be very different for an athlete who has cerebral palsy. Um, we also have um, athletes with who, who have less severe impairments where in some occasions you can apply an able-bodied model to those athletes. Um, when the disability becomes a bit more severe or is neuromuscular in nature, that's when we have to give special consideration to how that limits their ability to perform and to train. And that's where specific Paralympic expertise is important in terms of understanding the nature of the disability and the impact that has on the athlete and performance and being able to answer the right performance question for, for how can we improve performance in, in that athlete doing, doing a particular sport. Well, I think as, as a head of service, um, the, the communication with the coach is not as much as what a, a practitioner working on, on the ground will have. And I think that's, that's where, where our practitioners do a fantastic job of working um, together with the coach to support the athlete. Um, and it will vary um, between sports and, and between practitioners <clears throat> depending on how they invest in the institute. But the ideal model is that a practitioner would work side by side with a coach almost on a, on a daily basis um, and, and support the coach in, moni in monitoring and developing an athlete. How many hours of support or hours on a training program do you provide to athletes? Um, at the EIS we, we currently provide 500 hours per week to, to Paralympic sports. Um, that's sports science and sports medicine delivery. Um, and we are currently servicing 13 different Paralympic sports um, and there are 22 Paralympic sports in, in total.